Sister's hand I saw. Here. Uh, Denise. Here. Angela. Here. Emily. Here. Paul. Here. Lynn. Here. Charlie. Here. The other Charlie. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Here. Peter's coming. Uh, Robert's coming. They're not here. So, um, so we have a couple people who are on their way. But, uh, no, no absences or excuse absences. Um, I forwarded the uh, meetings from the last two meetings. I apologize, the one from May took a while to get out, but uh, that's last weekend. Um, did everybody get a chance to see those? I did. Um, uh, there, shall we have a motion to accept? Just, just, just one question before you take the motion. Yeah. Uh, since I missed it, but I'm assuming it took place, the minute should reflect that Lynn Spring was elected. They don't. They say it was nominated in second. Second. Oh, okay. That's true. Good point. And um, Hawk Meekin's name is Miss sort of, it, it goes either G or H in various places. Oh, okay. So, correction of box <coughs> there. And I, I think under executive office, there was a roll call vote, I think the S Hughes is really me, so it should be S Heward. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So we're looking at the notes from this is, July, uh, July 24th? Yes. Okay. about the May, what's something on the May agenda that we can come to? Yeah, let's, the, let's finish the July one. Any notes we can... <laughs> I have a couple of things on July. There, in the minutes, there were a couple points brought up about uh, people were asking for information and there were, should be follow-up on those. What is the process for that? Is, is that something that gets reported at the meeting? I mean, as an example, uh, Highway, uh, you know, so, uh, Suzanne asked, asked a question um, there were some questions on the, also by myself on, the, on, on whether the, the, uh, the amount collected and for the demo hauling it kind of represents for what the costs were. So I guess and then um, I guess how do we how do we follow up with the, what's the procedure? Should people be emailing to the group saying here's the answer to that, or should they be coming to the next meeting? It should come. It should come to the next meeting, and and when we ask for things, it should be um, requested by the entire committee. So sometimes people will say, oh, what about this thing, or what about that thing? Okay. Um, and I think Charlie had a question a, a while ago, and we, we made a, a motion to request that the that the uh, uh, that the uh, fire department. I got a correction on that. Fire yeah, the fire department, but it would be reported back by the select board, I believe. So if we had a question for the select board, it has to be sort of a, uh, a motion and an agree. So if the budget committee is asking for this piece of information. I don't recall if we did that specifically. Yeah, I mean, other than one of the other ones. Yeah, so I, I, I think sure if, we, if we want to ask the select board to come back and, and provide information, we need to ask for it as a, as a uh, committee. That's my understanding, at least of the process. So, with the items in that in the 20 meetings of the 24th, or do people who ask those questions feel that they still want those answers? Can somebody work them up? Right. Um, I might get my answer for the report. I asked about quarterly versus monthly expenses. Yeah. That was one question that I had. I, I may just get that answer. Did you see that on budget question? On the, on the highway, on page, I guess, three, the first poll. You asked about increasing the budget for library regional to the next year. And yes, that really wasn't a question. I, the question is under highway, about the retirement system? Yes. And then do yeah, you I mean, so I, I, to find out and get back to So in that particular on. case, I just assumed it was it was time. It was just yeah. so okay. yeah. And I would be better. Sorry. Do we still need to have any highway one? Well, we can see what it's like. Okay, and, and it's, then it, it still is. And yeah. I'll yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Okay.
overcome by that then. Was other question? Yeah, I, and, and I guess, and again, it goes. Some of it is probably educational on my part. Um, we, when we were talking about the school budget, I had made a comment about the percentage of in the budget line between the staff salaries and then the benefit allocation for those staffs. And I made a comment that I thought those numbers were kind of high relative to what I've seen in in, in the past. So in that case, it's more of an education. You know, you know, you see the salary of let's say a hundred thousand, and then the benefits of, of forty thousand. I don't know. That's most people have benefits of maybe twenty percent, twenty twenty five percent. So I was curious, just as an understanding of the budget numbers, what makes up those that benefit category across the different um, sections of, of the staff. I mean, I mean, so in that kind of question, is it, since I'm the only one who wanted to know, I mean, I'm willing to work with somebody all the time just so I understand it, but I don't know how efficient it would be. Oh, sure. I think that seems like an appropriate way to answer a question like that. Okay. If it's, if it's a thing, if you want the select board to go back and research or, or come back, then the other group should be asking it, but those ones seem like that can be a one. Okay. one. Oh, I didn't intend to answer that the last meeting, and I totally forgot that, but I didn't have your answer. Okay. That was a question from July 24th. Yes. Yeah. And I'm all set. Any other questions on July 24th meeting? Um, so, with a couple of, of edits, um, one to add them, spring as, as, the, as being elected. Um, the other one is to correct Bob Megan's name spelling. Like it's right. Um, and, my, and, my. And, and Suzanne's. Uh, any other corrections that need to be made? Maybe a motion to accept that with correct, uh, assuming the corrections will be made. We accept it. I'll say it's corrected. Charlie moves to, to accept and all seconds. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Sounds like the July 24th meetings are uh, accepted with with the minor edits discussed. So moving to the a sorry, I'm not as organized as I came straight from work. Um, with the May meeting, do you have any? Joe, you mentioned some. Question or Not from the menu. They were all answered. I have a question. And that it's sort of in line with what Joe asked earlier. Item number five on this report, Bonds for Budget Committee guidelines and the discussion about whether to comply with our guidelines or versus state guidelines. And I didn't know if that had been resolved between I didn't make it to that meeting. So I didn't know if there were follow-up to happen with this. So there was a consensus among the committee that adoption of the guidelines should be tabled for the time being. Tabled means we're not going to come back to it right. permanently. That's what, that's what I intended. Okay. I don't know if I used the right terminology, but yeah. Um, okay. Because a lot of them duplicate or, or re, are redundant with the, the guidelines that they're put out by the New Hampshire Municipal Association. Um, I think, and then also with the statute. So. And there are several things in there that are not necessarily consistent with um, uh, the statutes and, and what the authority of the budget committee is. So it just made sense. Uh, I think when we read the New Hampshire Municipal Association guidance, it has pretty much everything you need. And we didn't need to have that kind of guidance. Here. In addition, we wouldn't be able to do that uh, uh, to sort of dictate to the next budget committee. So it's something you have to adopt every every year. So we decided to the consensus was that's good. Uh, so any other questions or, or comments on the, the note the uh, minutes from I the, do Charlie. Yes on my motion on the points and how you win points I also asked for six, uh, three months sample of pay so we could see how that worked and that wasn't it that was in the motion. Could you add that? Yes. So basically, and I think that's a good, it's one thing to have the formula. It's also nice to have sort of an idea of what, how it was paid out. Yeah. I, I thought the same thing would be helpful.
Okay. It'll help me on judging their salary. Right. And also, could we have that before November 6th when the fire comes? They come to meet the budget? When the fire chief yes. comes to present his budget? Yeah. Yes. Uh, what exactly do you want? I want the points, how you earn the points, and a three month sample of their pay. Any month, three months is good. And I think we agreed as a. As yes, a it was voted on. That was the only thing that wasn't put in. Yeah. I knew there was something more there as I was writing it up, but I appreciate that. That is sick. Sorry, Paul, do you have any other questions? Any other um, questions or comments on the um, May 6th minutes? Uh, a motion to, to accept them as revised. Second. Motion from Emily, a second from Angela. Mm -hmm. uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. The minutes are accepted as uh, as revised by the by the edits that Charlie brought up. I wanted to take a second. The next item I just had on the agenda was just to um, remind everybody of the meeting schedule. I think everybody has it. Nothing has changed. Um, next week um, we start with uh, I think it's the highway department and the CIP mm -hmm. presentation. Mm -hmm. I have to be somewhere else next week, so Suzanne will cover the meeting. Uh, Suzanne already agreed. <laughs> That's signing her up now. Suzanne. Well, before we go, sort of like additional items at the end, if we could just kind of have a review of how we expect these things to go next week, it might help me and all of us to make sure that we're on target with what we're supposed to be doing with this, with the reviews. In other words, are we supposed to vote? Is there, a, is there any official action? Are we just listening or you know, asking questions? Uh, that, that would be helpful. Sure. I think, and, and this is open for discussion, but the, the way it has been done in the past, and obviously, you know, at least it was the way it was done last year, this one say, year so. um, we uh, typically listen and ask questions during the presentations, and then we'll meet together to deliberate over what we think about the budgets that have been up. And the reason I think we're starting earlier now is that we have some time to then go back. So there's no official action that we need to take next week on those budgets? No, I think we could. The official actions that we could take is we could decide to ask certain questions to follow up. But, okay. But there's no, there's no, there's no we're not voting or, uh, or anything on Thank it you. at that point. But that's the time for us to ask the department head right then when we got up there any questions we got about their budgets. Right. But it's not, we're not, not voting on it. That but it has no for, voting. It's for deliberation, for, yep. for okay. consideration. General information. Thank you, John. For the whole budget. So it's it's okay to say, well, your number for this particular item was such and such. 20, 2020 is going to be what it was last year plus 10%. Explain what that increase is. Mm -hmm. that yeah, kind of that kind of, that's the kind of discussion. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, at our... Uh, School board meeting on Thursday. Uh, we discussed our presentation to the budget committee, which um, is on our schedule for uh, December fourth, and we were wondering if we could change that to the eighteenth. Um, and the reason for that is because our meeting is on the second Thursday. Um, we're hoping to have that time to finalize. The budget. Otherwise, we're going to have to schedule an extra meeting, which is in the year. But it would be very convenient if we could. <coughs> School's on the fourth, and and you're looking for the eleventh. The eighteenth, we prefer. Eighteenth. Yeah. Let me just double check the date. Yeah, the eighteenth is when we start. Because I think, as we have it right now. Um, we're looking to be meeting uh, on the 11th to go over uh, to finalize the budget before public hearing. So that pushes us out. The 18th was uh, was when we were planning, I think, on having uh, presenting the public hearing based on the schedule. So that, that pushes us out a couple weeks. Um, 
I'm sorry, John, the 18th is was for a public hearing. It says notice. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the notice. No, that's our right. second final. Two nights for the fine to finalize the budget. The 11th and the 18th. Gotcha. Sorry. So we, we, I'm sorry, so we expected to have heard all the budgets by the 11th so that we could have two meetings with deliberations. That's correct. By the 4th. By the 4th. Yeah, the 11th would be the 18th, the 4th would be the last presentation, last presentation and by the 11th would be the first, first meeting to deliver, and then we'd have another meeting uh, the week after, uh, the, yeah, the 18th, to, uh, to finalize, or hopefully finalize. As we know, last year we had a few extra meetings, but... Um, so, so our meeting will be on the twelfth. Are you able to meet before? It doesn't um, sound. We, excuse me. It doesn't sound like it is. What? Uh, well, we can certainly try. Um, we were just. It seems to be a lot earlier than it was last year. So. Yes, we were all yeah. earlier. Yes, we did set this in April. It does say draft however, at the top mm -hmm. of the sheet. And so at our meeting on Thursday, the mm -hmm. question was posed, is there ability to have some, or can we have some flexibility? Um, our, you know, we were quite flexible last year, um, moving hours to switch it with the town so that the town could have some extra time to build their budget. And we were hoping maybe we could um, get some leniency and flexibility from the board as well. Yeah, what, what I'm wondering is maybe we could still have that first meeting and discuss all the other um, budgets that have been presented. And then, um, yeah, maybe, I don't know, when we push, I'd have to look at, look at the calendar and see where we are with holidays and all, and all that. But, but uh, uh, So in fact, the school board is the last, you, you do have the last slot. What you're saying is it's, it's not last enough. Yeah, and, and, and we did get moved up this year because we got in such a crunch last year with SB. To, yeah. Um, and so that was the, the goal was to try and. Well, I'll, you know, I'm, I'm happy to bring it back to the school board and say everything's been pushed up significantly this year because it has to be cute for the town. And, um, well, we might be able to. I, 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 I'm, I'd be willing to know if the whole committee feels comfortable with, with that, but I, I think it, there might be some flexibility that we could we could do a review of the uh, of the other, you know, our first deliberate deliberation session. Um, and we can also, I don't know where the slots are, because I'm not looking at calendar, but we might have other. 4, 11, 18. So if, you're, if the 18th is the very last yeah. time that we're meeting, so we could do the 11th? Yeah, so our board, our board meeting is supposed to be the 12th. Um, so maybe we can either change our board meeting to the first um, Thursday of that December, and if we could get the 11th, um, as opposed to adding a special meeting, that would be. Maybe on the fourth we could do the the first review of all the other budgets. Sorry. Maybe on the fourth, which is when yeah. when we would have had the school board meeting, we can then yeah. deliberate over all the other. Yes, yeah, so I mean we can completely compromise and get them. You guys put them for the eleventh. You just have to make sure that they have an entire evening to them because it's exactly. a long meeting. Yeah. So put so together. so we would the eleventh would just or an eleventh. Ideally, maybe it's later. You guys can't do it, but but ideally, if we move it to the 11th, um, that would just be the presentation of the school board. It wouldn't be a deliberation session or review letter. Um, so we would still have our both deliberative sessions. So so it's deliberative session one, school board, deliberate or school district deliberative session number two. Right. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking as a possible. See, I look back in the records. And the school board started their budget in October, their meetings. And then they did one in October, November, then they were ready. This year they didn't do it in October. Yeah. That's the problem. It's not that because we moved this up. It's because they didn't have any budget hearings on their budget in well, October. I, I don't think we have to blame no, anybody. No, no, for I'm just saying anything. that's the reason why it's behind. I, I don't know that. I, but but I, would, I would, Emily, ask... That yeah. if you could if they take back to the school board, that this is going to be, this is how I think how things are going to be going forward is that we're probably going to want to do the deliberative sessions before the end of the calendar year. Right. So, so, so this, also yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No problem. 
Um, one other thing to just point out about the schedule is that our deliberative session is on the calendar for January 4th um, with a snow date of the 7th. Um, and on this schedule, session for the for the school oh wait. for the school is yeah, it says so, I have for the school February first on the on the version I'm looking at. I have the public hearing on the eleventh of January for the school. I have yeah I have it first as, as the deliberative session too. Yes, that's what I have too. On this schedule. So the public hearing. Let me make sure that I have. Maybe it's the public hearing I'm thinking about. Let me just make sure of that. So do you have the ones we're going to school twice? That's the first and then the eighth. So I'm just going to do it in the other ways. I have one. I have. Right now, we're in our January 11th and 18th. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Jan January. Saying, for public January. hearing and then the SB2 deliberative session. Are the 1st and the 8th of February. Right. And that's what I have as date. So, as long as that's the current one, yeah. that's fine. That's, I'm looking at the schedule. You're looking at your calendar. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. They, they seem to match. Okay. Good. I have our schedule in front of me now. Awesome. Uh, so our board meeting is December 12th. Public budget and bond hearings, January 4th. Public budget and bond hearings. So the public hearing would be the 4th, for so the same date on the 7th. Delivered session, February 4th, for so the same date of February 8th. So, she, so there's a different date for the public hearing, right? Yeah. Right. So, so what is it? Well, it's our meeting. It's January 4th. That's what. That's what. And the snow date would be January seventh. Uh, and then deliberative session is February fourth, with a snow date of February eighth. Are you catching all that? Yeah, <laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> Okay, so we need to update the schedule to, to match with the school board's schedule was. Yes. Okay. Any other? All I really wanted to do was to point out that we're starting the season of, of budgeting. Um, I'm glad these points came up because that would have been the best later on. So, um, any other questions or discussion about the, the uh, schedule? Then that we can move on to the next item. Sorry. So will the will the revision will the revised schedule clarity on the schedule be part of the minutes that will come out? So you won't send a new. Schedule. We can probably update the schedule as well, just so that, that we've got one thing okay. we're looking at um, yeah. once we resolve the meeting. I have two different versions proposed yeah. I think it's, I think we there was a meeting when we. Just really the final one, but but um, we, I remember we asked for for final questions. 
and have resolved it, but uh, it's no problem. Uh, we can we can update it and re circulate it. Okay, so are we ready to move on to the next item? And that would be the uh, uh, third quarter town budget review. And then ask Denise to sort of give a presentation and we can then ask our specific questions. If you have something you wanted to preface it with. Denise. Well, I kind of go section to section, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, That's it's fine. easier than going to the backwards. Um, so, bottom line is we're we're in fairly good shape um, at 69%. Um, <clears throat> we had um, some un unforeseen issues in the uh, executive office. The one of them that I'm looking at would be um, item fif line 15, IT hardware and software and services. We had unexpectedly had to replace both the town clerk and the town. Um, tax collectors, computers, <coughs> as well as buying a new printer um, for the DMV um, stuff that's <coughs> there. So that was, so we are like pretty much spent out on that, but I don't see anything that we have to do in this line anyway going forward. But it, it it's just alarming when you see that it's all spent, but it was kind of a lot of and then we had to buy all new Microsoft um, Licenses. licenses as well so yeah so that um, that's kind of where that's up to 99 but in the bottom line of the picture it's 56 percent also you don't see it here but um, we had another unfortunate situation with the um, police cruiser was supposed to was four thousand dollars yes, it was four. supposed to come out of CIP and the way the warrant was written it had mentioned there was an escape clause, so we are not allowed, according to the Department of um, State, we are not allowed to use the $12,000 through CIP. So it will be coming out of contingency, but not coming out of, we can't, the only thing that we can do in contingency, which was part of, is the equipment that's going on the vehicle. But because it's a lease and there's an escape clause, you can't use CIP money there. So, um, so, but we can use it for the equipment because that there's no that's not part of the lease. Um, so is that going to be true for all of the leases going forward? Well, you just won't say you just won't have an escape clause. You'll have to not be able to do that. Uh, breaking your lease is you, you can't because you're breaking them. If you broke a lease and you took money out of the CIP that you shouldn't have because you broke the lease. Can you explain what an escape clause is? I'm sorry. It's I don't have the, the I'm sure I have the right term now. What it, it's just saying that you can get out of the lease is bottom line. So we, we signed documentation that we we're going to take the lease. Yep. But we had the right to back yeah. out of it. I see. So it's because, do you yeah. mind? It's because, John, that it, it, it's the same rationale about a current board cannot tie the hands of future boards. And so if you've got so you get in the lease. Yes. Yeah, you have so you, so lease every year. Yes. If you don't do that, you can still do it, but it has to go to town as a separate warrant article and with a, I don't know, two thirds. Three fifths. Three fifths. Okay. So, so you do. So you do want. So the mechanism to do it. It's just yeah. But good. but if you have escape clause, <coughs> and you and that use CIP. CIP. Right. So right. like if you buy a house, you got three days to change your mind. Yes. That's an escape clause. Yeah. So, but we can use the money for the equipment. Why, um, why did we lease rather than purchase? Because police vehicles have virtually no return. Well, because it's, it's less expensive at the time of doing it. I mean, you put the, the payments out for the two or three years of whatever the lease is for, so it's less money. Well, Plus, this time, he, he's getting two vehicles. Yeah, there, there was, that was part of the presentation right. in the budget hearing. Budget, um, but it's less money year. every year. It's fine. It's less money every year. I mean, the whole pay the vehicle is not less money, but the payment out is less money each year. What is the is there a residual at the end of the lease on that, which normally is with the lease vehicles? We own it. We own the vehicle. Yes. So we lease it for three years. Or whatever the conditions is, and then we own it. Yes. So the if we're going to get the vehicle, it should last three years anyhow. 
Oh, yeah. And okay. the equipment should be able to be transferred even if we buy a new vehicle. Yeah, it's if you buy a vehicle, it's the same vehicle you have because when we were getting rid of the sedan, you can't put that stuff on the Explorers or whatever the, the SUV that they have now. So it depends what kind of vehicle. They tend to, they now tend to stay with all of the SUVs versus having the sedans. Well, it makes more sense. Yes. But, Substantially more yeah, sense. But yeah, they do their best to use up every piece of equipment once the vehicle is gone to, to the new vehicle, but there has been things that we haven't been able to do. Any other big equipment? Like no, cars, no. I mean, equipment. most of the time we know. There was, there was a surprise. I forget what it was if we had to buy something. I can't remember. It was a piece of equipment that it wasn't a huge amount of money, but it was something that they thought was going to be able to work and it didn't. <laughs> um, so, but they do make every effort to use what's in there, as long as it's in the shape that it can be used. Just curious, most PDs do not lease vehicles, most of them purchase them, because at 100,000 miles, those vehicles are useless. I think we're, we're veering a little off. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's interesting, and, and uh, we did have we did have the whole explanation mm -hmm. from the. Well, see, the reason why is at one time one of the new vehicles got in an accident, Correct. and it put all the extra miles on the other vehicles, so they were wearing out. So the best way the chief came up with was to get two lease vehicles and try to get the miles down on all the vehicles. Mm -hmm. So, Suzanne, I mean, I'm sorry, yes. Denise, in relation to what you just explained, is that line 24 when you said contingency, is that? Yeah, the, the $12,000, it isn't there right now, but it is going to be in this computer. I'm so just hit, giving you an FYI. It is 12. 12,000 or more? 12,000. It, that will be, the 12,000 will be coming out. The rest of it is coming through CS. Okay, so 12. Yeah, I was, when I was looking at this, I said, Great, the board hasn't had to use contingency. What a wonderful yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. almost, almost made, yeah. almost made up. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So um, it's just a, an FYI. The next time you see it, it's going to be there. Um, but we'll we'll learn from this mistake. Um, or this so what was the total twelve thousand coming from contingency, and then what coming from the CIP? Whatever the balance was, I don't have that information because that is that was already planned to be out of the uh, yeah. uh, CIP. Okay, um, is there any other questions on um, the executive office? Again, we're, we're pretty in good shape. Um, what would be so far over the reimbursable? That is reimbursable expenses, so we just we need to um, readjust our budget. Um, just, I think there were some things that we weren't expecting to have it, but we are getting reimbursed for it, so it's kind of a wash. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Um, Town clerk, uh, I mean, no tents and registrations. Um, we're pretty much on target um, on that as well. Um, there's no more elections, so the, those categories are won't be having any more hit to that. Um, any questions on that? All right. Financial administration. Um, the audit is done. You'll see it is at 99%. Um, so that is that is complete. So you won't have any more hit on that. Um, Did they have find any problems? I audit? haven't got the report yet okay. myself, but um, I don't think so. Good. I don't think it was anything that we weren't having to be notified of. I do have a, a question for next year's budgeting. Mm -hmm. So I see that. We're right up against the budget. The expense is right up against the budget. Mm -hmm. Were there any special audits done this year, or was this just the standard audit? Um, it was the standard audit. So, are you thinking of building in, you know, a little bit of a buffer in case, you know, in case somebody, because when, when someone leaves during certain positions, not everybody, but the treasurer or the or yeah. you know, the town clerk, whatever, yeah, they have to be a special, special, special audit. audit. I'll make a note of that. So we. Um, so we, were, we did try at some point to give ourselves a little bit of room in order to accommodate that. But, you know, there's, then there's contingency, which is really made for things yeah. like this. So yeah. it, it's just an observation comment. Yep. Yeah. I will talk to them about that. Um, mapping in um, appraisal is 42%. There's no issues in our um, concerns for us. Um, Personnel, and, um, personnel administration. Um, the one thing that really stands out is um, background checks. 
and that was for uh, our new uh, town employee, uh, Chuck, rec employees, and the new police officers that we hired, which were two of them. So it was unexpected because we didn't know we had to hire. Well, we thought we'd get more returning people for rec, and we um, had to do more back on checks on those. So, any questions on that? What the health insurance? Is that good news, or has there um, change? Yeah, there was a, um, we predicted possibly there was going to be some changes in policy and there were, I mean, and people taking oh, something. And coverage? And, and, yes, oh, and okay. so it did. We oh. had a little buffer there anticipating something and we did, it didn't happen this year. Okay. So, yeah, it wasn't a rate change or anything. It was coverage. We were kind of being a little proactive on that. To kind of pause for a minute, I have a question. Sorry. Probably should know your <coughs> assistant, but what do the yellow highlights mean? I see what the uh, blue don't, means. Don't, I, don't, I think that's Caroline. i got to talk to her about that. Oh, okay. So yeah. there's no I special there's historical and they're yeah. just kind of there. Right? On there, I think when she does it, she highlights it. And I think for attention is needed for her. And yeah. Yes. Got so, it. Um, on so, the, sorry, go ahead. On paycheck service being 95%. Um, What's, is it like a contract with the paychecks? Like, is that a surprise that I was so far over? Well, um, I don't know if the, the only one that, well, it, it's a service that we provide to do our, our payroll. Um, fire department gets paid quarterly, so it depends how many firemen or, or checks are cut. So that could flex a little bit depending on um, how many are there on that quarter. Um, we didn't have any overlap on the police though that I'm... Doesn't paychecks give a new contract like in July? So if there's an increase, it's going to show up in July. I'm not aware that they did. That's I can what I Okay, I can ask that question. I'm not sure. So if you're saying if there was an increase, it would be... It could have been an increase right. as well as... I'll check on that and get back to everyone. Didn't we hear in the first quarter that, so, that there was something in the... With the W twos that had to be redone, and there's an expense. Am I making that up, or am I? Is this another year that I'm not sure that would be under paychecks? Though it might be under another line. We have the, the, the yeah. Is, is the question that uh, just sort of following? We're at the paycheck service line 58. Is that right? Yes. And yeah. We're at 95 percent. The question is why are we at 95 percent yeah. when we're at the third quarter? Right. right. Um, essentially, and. and Sounds like we're not quite sure exactly nope, I'm the answer get, to that, but that's... I'll get an answer for everyone. I don't think we need to have a motion to, to ask for that question. <laughs> not unless I volunteer to do that for y'all. Great. Okay? Perfect. I'll just that's do it. it. <laughs> All right. Because um, I didn't catch that one, so thank you for doing that. Um, but anyway, bottom line in that category, we're at 50%, so we're doing good. Um, planning and zoning, 54%. Um, I don't see anything that was like... Secretarial services are only for up, but they're small. Well, we they're have small a lot months. of zoning issues right now, so it's probably more than um, that was budgeted on the minutes taking, because we've got a, a lot to do with... Is the planning consultant not working for us, or...? Expenses we have a change in the planning consultant. Do I have this right? Uh, in line 69? Yes. Um, Tom Clark is going to take over that position. And um, I can't think of her name. Krebs? No, he's gone. He's gone. Krebs is gone. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, a, a woman. Um, there was an announcement put out. And I can't think of her name. But she's going to do um, yeah, some of the planning. And, and um, Tom are going to do some as well. And in place folks. They're both going to be doing just a small amount of hours a month. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. It will still come out of this line yep. when it happens. It won't come out of Tom's other line. Yes. We'll That's see it here. Yes. And what confused me on that was also in June it was 1040 in that account. The planning consultant and now the zero. Because I believe she moved she might have moved it to Tom's, where's Tom's, um... Yeah, I looked back in June and there's 10... He's on 172. 172, Does, did, did you see an increase on that? 172, it 
building it's a little inspector. Um, I'm going to have to ask for I know we, she moved some of the money to go to the right categories now that he's taking on these other duties. Um, so she would have, because we're not having that job anymore, so to say, um, she was moving it into the right categories. But I will ask that. Um, Okay. Just for general note, if she's going to move it, could she put it in the notes to help us out? Well, I don't know. No, no, I, just a suggestion. I'll ask. It's more helping me out. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm not working against you. <laughs> no, I know. Um, anyway, but I'll get back to you. But again, we're, we're right where we're below where yeah. we should be. Oh, no. Numbers um, are great. So, uh, government buildings, um, let's see. we are pretty good on the, um, most of them, I don't, I'm not really concerned, under, you know, too much about um, heat and electricity. Did I tell you that we signed a contract with um, PSNH to have the lights changed in the fire station and the highway barn? Did I mention that to you the last time? It has been a we signed one. Yeah. We signed a contract, and it's supposed to happen any day, but it's, that's what they've been saying for a month now. But um, she's going to call them and put some fire under them. But we've decided to do the highway barn and the fire station this year because we had some money left within our um, accounts. And if if they get it done and, and we have some money, we want to do the town hall as well. We also have the quote on that, but we haven't signed a contract on that yet. Um, and that's coming out of operating budget. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah, we didn't we didn't take the loan program. We took it coming right out of the budget. And that was you're we're doing the um, you see the highway garage? The highway, the transfer station and the fire station. The fire station had some problems already, so they were the first priority because they had some things that you need to replace some lighting and they couldn't because they were too obsolete. So, um, and then the next two smallest ones would be um, highway and transfer. And so we're going to see how that comes out and how everyone's happy with it. And then we're going to look at this building. We got a quote on it already, so we have our numbers. We just um, want to wait a little longer to see where the budget Does that have a line number? Well, What's that? Like a number or what, the project? Yes. Um, no. I think, it, I think it's probably going to... We haven't done it yet, so it isn't in here. So I'm not sure we've approved it, but it hasn't happened yet, so we're not paying anything until it does. And it I'm going to find out where she's going to put that, though. Okay. Yeah, or even electricity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, cemeteries, I think they did, um, I think they did an amazing job, they were a little higher to, to get the um, mowing company, but I think they did an awesome job, we were extremely happy with what the cemetery, how the cemeteries look this year and stuff, so, but we're right on target, you know, um, but it, it's um, definitely um, been much better. Um, Regional association, at eight, that is a one-time payment. Um, so we're there. We're also there. Um, police department. Um, overtime is due to a lot to do with the officers that left and having to have shifts covered. And so now we are full staffed, and our um, our last hire is now completely out of the academy and doing his um, car riding with a field, a field, field they, there's field. a name for it, um, with either you know, a full-time officer. So we're in much, much better shape employees for the police department right now. So. Also, just as a point of information, if I, I had added up, but I, I thought I had put it right here, so up, the, the salaries, all the salary budget lines and all the expense lines, even though overtime is over on that line, mm -hmm. all of the police salaries are still at, I think it was like 60 some odd percent. Yeah. So there's not a, an overall issue. 
Um, we, we did also, um, and I don't have the details with me tonight, but we did have a, a meeting with the um, police chief, and we did do some um, um, increases, some officers, due to their um, salary being so below the market level. So um, I didn't affect this calendar year. It affected, it was affected it was when it happened, yeah. Yep. Yep. So it is part of this, but because okay. there was so many... Um, the positions that left us for the high-ranking positions, so there was some funds there that we were able to do it without affecting the budget, which we decided that we would do that. Um, I have more. I can have more information or um, of how much that cost us. Um, Mileage, you're going to see the mileage is 343%. That is because um, we give mileage back and forth from the academy. So that was an unexpected expense at the time of budgeting. And um, when they come home on the weekends or when they have time to come home, they do get mileage back and forth. So that is why that one is high. Um, Everything else I think is really much on target. If anybody has any questions on, um, please. No. Nope. Huh? Good. Okay. Fire department. Um. Let's see. <coughs> Dispatch um, is 106 percent. Their their um, their rates went up after the budget was approved, and so that is reflected there, 106%. That is all it's going to be, though, it's one time. Um, let's see. Training. I know that the training is, um, Mark has come in, um, he's got some people that are new, and he's sending them to the um, uh, Firefighter One training, so that is, um, I think that we're probably covered on most of that. I think we're still going to stay under that number, but there's two or three of them that are going to the um, firefighter um, one and two, and there's a couple other ones that they're doing. Um, let's see. Equipment. I don't see anything. Um, I'm 153. What is it? I'm 153 radios. I thought two radios were supposed to come out of this account. They, he hasn't got them yet. He only got the ones that was, it was the, um, the Warren one, right? Yeah. He's gotten those, but he's kind of, he was kind of waiting to see where he, where he was in his budget, but he, we talked about that. Okay. So how many radios did he end up getting? I don't remember. It was whatever. He spent the, the money that was there. Um, I don't remember, because he had to put some in trucks as well as hand ones. Mm -hmm. Um, I can find out how many. Because I think it was 15 total. 13 out of the seat. Set and two out of here. Or yeah. another right. But I think those were, there, there was some of it. I'm not sure he got, they were all going to be portables though. Because they think he, portables. I know, but I think he needed some in the truck. Mm -hmm. So they may have gotten, I don't know if they had okay. other money for that um, somewhere else, but I will ask how many he got. Okay, thank you. I think the total in one of those 15 overall. Right, right. So you think we have what? I don't know. Oh, I we don't know about what, 10, 10 or 12 or something like that, so what those? I think the ones that are in the budget here versus the one that was on the Warren article, those haven't been purchased yet. But the other, he did get an allotment, but I can't remember how many it was, so I'll find that out for you guys. Um, mutual aid, 100% is a one-time one -time payment, so that's... Done. And again, he's at 63%, so he's right on target. Building inspector. Um, 
We did get some increased hours due to some of the things that were happening in town um, that we needed him to be involved in, so we did um, authorize him to have more hours during this time. Any questions? 192 Sand and Gravel. I ain't got there yet. Oh, 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 oh. I'll touch you on. Sorry. I'm on building inspector. Sorry. Oh. Up here. All right, so highways and streets. There we go. Um, what what number? 192 San Diego. Yeah. Um, I know that one of uh, yes. I mean he's doing a lot of the projects himself. Oh, don't doubt and me. I know that we also had to put some gravel down um, by the boat launch. That's the town's responsibility to buy the gravel, but the gentleman who lives up there spreads it out. That's kind of been a gentleman's hand agreement for a long time. Because it what it does I mean that's his road to go to his house and when there's a lot of activity by the boat launch. I mean so. it's not over that much. No. He's doing a real but it, job. he is. He, yeah, they really. both are. I think they did some of that really on the job. highway really good job. Yeah, when they were doing the Mint Paven, I think some of that might have come out of here too. It might, oh, gravel for the yeah. paving. Uh, yeah, I go. for the gravel. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I don't think that we need to be too alarmed by that no, because no. I think most of his projects are done, are done now. So, but yes, we knew that he was doing more than we had budgeted for. Um, I think everything else about street, street sweeping, just to let you know, we have to do it twice a year now due to um, stormwater. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we have to do... No, I'm not going to go there. I can, I can just say something about the street sweeping. I mean, so probably we'll have to do it one time, and then we'll document, as part of the stormwater committee, we'll document that it doesn't need to be done because we're not used to travel or right. stand on the roads. So once we can document that, we probably won't have to continue doing that. Twice a year. Twice we'll a have year. to do it once a year, all right. I believe so. Yeah, yeah. But now we have to do it twice right. to have that documentation. I think that's all the time. Yeah. How does the state get away with that You know I got that question every time. I can't even go there because they tell me I can't do that. But the <laughs> state roads, we still have to do it. So I'm not happy by that. But anyway. Oh, that's the catch basin cleaning. No, that's yeah. not the sweeping. They do do them their own sweeping. It's the catch basin cleaning. You have to, oh, no, I'm sorry. That was two year, twice a year, too, for stormwater. Because they're just doing the second, in which we have to do state roads as well. Um, but again, he's he's in pretty good shape. I mean, uh, most of I believe most of his road maintenance and resurfacing is um, all the bills are in. I believe so. Again, they did a, an amazing job down on Sligo. Which I'm sure we have some happy Sligo people. <laughs> so the plan is next year, hopefully, to do the other half of Sligo. Is what they're talking about now. So, but. Um, mm -hmm. And some top coating. We'll hear about that next week, I imagine. What's that? We'll hear about that next yes. week, I imagine. Yes, yes. Um, I have a question about tree maintenance. Are, is, that, is there a maintenance cut? It's line 191. <laughs> Are you planning to do some? No, I, I don't know. Sure, what line are you looking at? 191. 191. Uh, we haven't spent any of it. Um, there were a lot of dead trees at one point, and I know there was a backlog, and they were well, building up the budget in order to sort of take care of the dead trees. I know that they had talked about some of them, um, and I thought that, I don't know if they're waiting for some help, because mm -hmm. some of them is beyond their mm -hmm. abilities. Um, but I will, I will ask that question, because I don't know. We've talked about some, but I just... Is that outsourced or is it done? They can do some themselves, small, yeah. no power lines, you know, that kind of stuff, um, which they've done. Um, but there are some that, I think it's either General John or Main Street along the cemetery area, I think was one of them. And they've got some power lines involved, and I don't think that they can do that. Yeah. So, um, no, they, they just do okay. the basics. If yeah. the tree falls down, they'll cut it up. Exactly, <coughs> exactly. But, um, yeah, I'll tell you about that. All right. Um, sanitation. Uh, 
Yeah, the supplies one. Um, I have a note here. Not sure I need Caroline info. So I'm going to have to get back to you because I didn't catch that before. I know you bought something expensive and I don't remember what it was. I'm going to have to get back to you on that. So I will get back to you on 207. Why it's so much. Um, conferences and dues. Both um, Ed and George have gone to conferences and it, it, um, but I think that that is done now, so I don't think we're going to see any more on that. Uh, we do have some issues with our um, intake of um, recycling and trash. Um, it's much more, it's higher than what we budgeted for. We are um, applied for a grant to have um, a scale put down there so we can start um, weighing our demo um, to get a better understanding of if our prices are good. If not, I mean, then we're going to be able to get what it actually will cost. Um, so we uh, actually I think we were supposed to find the out either yesterday or today if we got the grant. Um, the scale. Um, we're looking at a, a scale with a, with a printout, so then you can get a receipt from them on what you pay. Um, so we, we're just trying to understand, because everyone knows about the recycling part of the, some of it is costing us more than it is, you know, so we don't know. But they are, um, they are getting money for glass and um, uh, the cans of um, tin. Um, so he, he actually just turned some money in um, for some of the recycling. It's just the plastic is one of them. A little Did difficult. You money in for aluminum cans too, or just yes, yeah, aluminum. Yes, aluminum. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, they're doing a good job about compacting them and. Um, Cardboard and paper. Cardboard. Is that a cost or is that a wash? Um, it's it's pretty much a wash. It's not a. It's not. We're not. I don't think we're making much on the cardboard. If it's any, it's little. Um, but you know the. Yeah. It's the flip side of whether or not you put it in the hopper. So we're not going to do that. But I mean, I don't think. What's that? We're not paying to get rid of it anyway. So yeah. Yeah. It's it's a tipping fee of X yeah. amount plus yeah. plus yeah. Point. But we are paying to get rid of plastics right now because the price is so low. No, we're 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 putting we're um, chipping it and putting it in containers and storing it. Storing it. Mm -hmm. Why? We are getting money on plastic. It's just not very much money. So I know the other towns that brought this up before, um, Hooks had found out that they were taking the same materials from plastics in their town and taking it to the dump because it was 175 for them to dump the plastic uh, to pay for it for recycling. And it was like $75 to just dump it. And they found out that the hauler was actually charging them 175 and yet they found the plastic was being just thrown in the dump. No, we're, we're, uh, we're chipping it and we're selling it. There's certain um, numbers on the containers that are worth more than the others, but you do not have to separate them is what they're telling me. But it's a good, you know, put your questions down and ask them next week when they come and present because they, they're doing everything they can to make it not so expensive. It's more, I think what our, our costs are is our um, demo stuff. That's the worst. That's what we're not getting enough. Well, no, but we're not getting enough money to take it. Um, that's the difference. And one couch... The reversible part. Right, right. right. One couch weighs... This, but you know, this one could weigh twice as much, and you're paying the same thing. So that's what we, we need to reevaluate, and that's why we said we would try to do it with the scales. How, how much does that a scale like that cost? I think it's 1600 Is it? Do you remember? That's cheap if it's 1600 It wasn't. And it was totally covered. Said, and it was 20, 2000, 22 with 22 the printer or, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but the end was going to be. Yeah, you only play half. half of that. Yeah. The original yeah, price so, was 22 or 24. Yeah, so, so we did half on that. Short yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then it's going to be fair to everyone 
in town of mm -hmm. what you're going to pay. Um, I'm assuming it's a drive-in, drive-off. So, mm -mm. uh, yeah. No? Yeah, they're going to... They have to weigh it. Yeah, they're going to weigh it. It has to be a, a drive-in, drive-off. Otherwise, no. how else do you measure the weight? They're going to unload. They're, they're going, going to unload, unload it with, a, with unload the fork. It's not awful slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm, I don't think they have that kind of yeah. volume on a day-to-day. -day. I mean, you, you want to get Sad, it, you're going to have to weigh Yeah, but they're going to, yeah. They're going to take it off and put it in the bob cat or something. Right. right. Put it down, yeah. weigh it, and that's yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, um, so we're working on what we can do with recycling and um, MSW um, waste. Um, let's see. Uh, general assistance, um, not doing too bad. I mean, we have some expenses, um, but we're, we're holding it tight if we can. Um, parks and recreation. Um, they uh, came under a little bit on their revenue, um, so I think it was like five thousand dollars that um, we will have to come out of taxation. Um, and I know that it's been advertised that it's um, possibly not going to be going forward. We need to make more decisions on that. We did have a public hearing. Um, Just to say, sign. last night, yes, yeah. yeah. Um, so um, I'm hoping we can work through it and keep it going. I think it's good for our kids, but we um, we'll just have to see. Um, but but it um, it was a successful program this year as well. Just um, we're so a little over. Yes. We're Parks and Recreation bottom line is 84 percent. Are we pretty much? I mean, is that is that really off? I mean, we're almost. Well, the eighty-four percent—it's based on what we received in revenue. Is what I'm saying. The revenue was off. They may so not have spent the whole budget, but the revenue didn't. They weren't as much as we thought. So. Revenue neutral, but um, they were off like five thousand dollars. So it was more like you know. Uh, Forty-seven, something. Gotcha. Um, so. Um, but yes. I have a question about the team camp days. Yeah, 245. Mm -hmm. Are there expenses you have to hit, or are they rolled into summer day camp? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. They certainly should have all the expenses in. So let me find out. Yeah, in June it was 15. Now <coughs> it's 15 camp, and now it's zero. Yeah, I don't know about that. It certainly happened, and it certainly has expenses, so I'll find out. 14. Okay. All right. Um, library seems to be right on target. And the bottom line, and the other, the other um, committees that um, we haven't done some of them, we tend to, to wait to the end of the year for those. Um, so that's where we stand. Questions on, on Just a quick one on the executive office. Yep. Is the administrative support personnel, is that the town administrator? And Chuck. The, Number four. That is Chuck and Caroline. And then there was the new position that was hired. Yeah, her salary is sixty thousand, and then the balance is for and also um, Sunday's in the uh, the secretary to the select board. Okay. So it's three positions in that line. Okay. It just doesn't quite make sense on that line number four. Right. What do you? What doesn't make sense? Um.
Hearing none, I will make sure that you guys get your notes in the next couple of days with some answers. Do you want to talk about revenue? Mm -hmm. And I'll do the best that I can. Um, I got one question. Yeah. On business license and permits. Your, your question on the um, revenue. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have Okay. You've got Let's see, 598,987. I told you, don't look at the one I sent you. Oh, okay. That was incorrect. So that should be the that, one that the okay. few floating around there is correct. It is now $250 with a formula it? error. No, I didn't get that. I got the old one. Okay. I'll make sure that she sends it out to everyone, um, the updated one. Um, yeah, there was a few formula issues. Um, I think... Um, one of the things that we had the sale of the municipal property, the 21800 that's the sale of the um, dump truck from the, from the highway barn. Um, and I don't know if you have any questions. You certainly can email me too, and I will, uh, yes. I do have a, a, like a big picture question. So the, the anticipated revenue, which was used to sort of balance things out and anticipate tax increases mm -hmm. back in March meeting, was $1.5 million. Correct. Mm -hmm. And now the anticipated revenue has been revised downward by you know forty thousand looks like. <coughs> mm -hmm. So that will have an impact on the tax rate, you know, right? Unless it, unless unexpected revenue comes in. Well, so, we do have some unexpected revenue that we that is on this report. But one of the things that um, the police have not had their contracted services that we projected them to have, so that is lost, lost revenue. It's so reported. So is the board concerned or, or is the board thinking about maybe trying to cut down on the expense side of the appropriation? So when it comes time to do the, to do the tax rate, there'd be some fund balance that you might use to, to help with this um, shortfall? Well, it's not it's not as much of a shortfall because there are the others that were that were projected that we're getting far more. For instance, interest on investments. Um, I have to say, our treasurer is doing an amazing job. But I'm looking at maybe I'm not maybe I'm not being clear. I'm looking at the bottom line. So. I know, but I'm telling you, there are other, there are other places here that you're getting more than than what we budgeted or projected. Right, but overall, if we're unless I'm really not understanding it, overall. What we had anticipated was one and a half million. What we're looking at now, even it's with what is, yeah. Yeah. so so there's going to be a you know a shortfall, a shortfall. yes mm -hmm. that will either come from taxation mm -hmm. or fund balance. So mm -hmm. I was wondering if the board is talking about this and talking about maybe trying not to spend I'll just say spend down the, the budget on the expense side mm -hmm. in order to have money in fund balance that would help mm -hmm. with the tax rate. Yeah, I mean, we, we look at it all the time, yeah. but, you know, have we made a decision that it's that absolutely not going to go below? We haven't made that yeah. decision, but we are looking at it and then deferring some expenses, if we can. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well, there's also time to make it up in the end of the year, right? You're talking $40,000 that could change between now and the end of the year, right? It could be 10000 by then. Exactly. Right. Okay. Right. I'm just making sure I no, I don't know. I mean, you know, you, I don't know. This is what this is the best guess. I'm sure this was talked. This is the figure that you talked about mm -hmm. with the DRA. Mm -hmm. So this is the best guess that we think we're going to get in. Now, could it change? Yeah, but so then it could change every sixty thousand. Yeah, right. It could not. You're right. Because the building permits could not. Because this is a slow time for building permits, and the building permits are uh, are. Or at, uh, you know, we budget anticipated thirty-four thousand. Uh, we brought in twenty-three. We're still using thirty-four thousand to build that bottom line there. But you know, you wonder if, in fact, we'll get that much in building permits in that right, year. Right. So, so I mean, is it likelier that it's even less than one point four nine one? Maybe. I mean, I'm not sure that I. S I would be confident saying it could possibly be more, unless you know there's some rich person who gave us money. That's educated, yes. Yeah. That's a corrected report. This is the corrected report. 
The one that is not on the table is a corrected yeah, report. The one you got the email is not, and I'll have it sent to you tomorrow. Okay. Why did Hydro Revenue get moved to other second page? Yeah. It used to, did it used to be a separate line item? It is. Yeah. It's just fun. It's the deep. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You have the It's answer. the detail under either um, miscellaneous miscellaneous revenue. Yes, yeah, it's under other now. Yeah, it was always yeah, when we built. When you yeah, built, you'll see it. You'll yeah. see it when, when there are other tabs that are kind of like follow this. Okay. And so at a high level, you don't see the individual thing, okay. but. As long as it was highlighted by itself, so we can see how much we're getting from Hydro. I know it's going down. I think mm -hmm. we, I think we should make sure that we see that when we're talking at that level for the for the budget. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Is it is it still going down? Mm -hmm. Even with the right. new offering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. Um, I'll talk to about that. Uh, all right. Are you ready to move on to the next? Yeah, uh,
we included in there Katie's overview of it. Um, I'll just go through it. But um, currently, we have about ninety thousand um, dollars of savings from salaries and benefits because of um, changes in staffing that we made this past year. Um, we do have one position open for, I believe it's a mainstream coach, so that will probably go down a little bit um, once we hire that person. Um, we, uh, we do have differences in revenue, however, so we have um, a good thing is that we'll have um, kindergarten fully covered this year because of the new budget got passed at the state level. Um, so we've been, we've been having partial funding for our kindergarten through the Kino um, plan, but now it's a fully funded kindergarten, so that will be a good thing for us um, that we'll be keeping in mind for next year's budget. Um, and then we also have some Medicaid reimbursement um, changes that we don't know what, um, what that effect is going to be for us, so we're definitely keeping an eye on that. Um, Currently, we're expecting about $20,000 in additional revenue, um, but it will totally depend on what we find out about the Medicaid. Um, do you, do yeah. you have a likelihood? Kind of, do, is it likely to go up or likely to go down? Do you know? <laughs> we're hoping down, but we really don't know. I think hoping we should... Hoping down, likely up. <laughs> yeah, right. We, um, we should have that soon. I think today, actually, um, our business administrator was meeting with people to try and figure out what that was what all the changes mean for us. So I really couldn't say with any level of confidence. Um, so you'll notice in this budget too that the um, we usually um, have uh, encumber the tuition money that we spend for Marshwood. We have, hadn't received a bill from them yet at the time of this budget. So um, our business administrator has not yet encumbered that fund. So we expect that it will be a little bit lower than what we budgeted for because we have fewer students than what we initially budgeted for. So um, overall, we expect that um, we're doing fine now. We expect we will continue to be doing fine, if not a little bit better than we are today. So, um, so that is that. Um, and Christelle. Isn't that too because we uh, had two teachers retire? Yes, we had two teachers retire and we hired new teachers. <coughs> salary differences there. Um, and then we also, um, we had budgeted for this mainstream coach that we're hiring for um, now. We didn't need it at the beginning of the year and we are, we have the administrators of the school have found a need for that position now. Um, so they are, are, are hiring for it. So we have a little savings there. Is there a number amount on the amount of sleep call in kindergarten? Um, I don't know it. Okay. Um, and I don't know, uh, Katie will tell us a specific number, which tells me she probably doesn't know the specific Just number. Just curious. Because normally she would. Um, seeing as you know, 86% of our budget is contractual. I didn't really don't go through it line by line. <laughs> um, so, uh, does anyone have any specific questions? Uh, I can answer for you. Again, things look really good. We expect them to continue on now. Charlie? 2.30 back. Come on. 2.30 back to the town. He doesn't know Specialized the summer's work is, is that, I don't mind the pain. Is that student about ready to age out? You know, she can't say. Okay. No. Can't tell. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. No. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions on the school budget? I would just comment about the repairs to the exterior building, the cupola. Over the summer they did it. Yeah. You should see the inside too. We got a tour um uh not last month but the month before and so we put an all new flooring in the main upper main building and it just you walk in and it's like a it's completely different place. Everything is brighter and bigger looking and it really 
It looks wonderful. Yeah, and the gym floor, they sanded it down to the wood and refinished it. Nice. It's a, an entirely different color. It's it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Our, our uh, facilities um, manager is doing a spectacular job. And again, the similar to our house, doing a lot of things himself and saving the town a lot of money by doing that. Last page. Yeah. Ed transportation. We budgeted none for the middle elementary. And last page. Last page. Twenty seven twenty two. There was none budgeted and now there's a forty four six. The only question I have, is that a one-time, or is that going to continue to increase? Um, my guess would be that's a one-time. Um, I'm pretty sure that we just get billed yearly for all of our, our transportation, but I can certainly find that out for you. Of the year. 
things are always tight as a town in the school. Which one are you talking about? Hold on a second. Yes, yeah, I'm sorry, what? We're not following, so. We don't know where the $600,000 is. Yes, that. we see that. Where's the $600,000? I thought we were, we were starting with okay, the third if page. You look at total, if you look at, let's look at page one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the water. It's not a lot. It says water. Okay. Mm -hmm. this is no, no. No, no. Okay. 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 And you see it says monthly total dollars at the bottom in bold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you see adjustment. You see that? 344. 686. Yes. Okay. The 344, 686 on this page <laughs> is what was voted on by the voters at the annual meeting. That's the number they want. The water. Turn the page. And you'll see something similar to that on the sewer side. Wastewater, wastewater, I'm supposed to say wastewater. And you'll see a number 311, 841. If you take those two numbers and add them together, yep. you will come to 656,527. All right? Okay. Now go back to the first page. And it says, amount spent, okay, which is one, two, three, fourth column in from the right. You see on the first page it says 272,051, 051. There? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And that's going up at being about 79% of what you 77%. And if you look at wastewater, Fourth column in, you'll see 256 over 15. And you add those two numbers together, okay, and divide it into the total budget, you get a percentage. 72? 77%. So when you combine water and sewer, you see. Uh, I mean, you said not to stick the numbers, but your total spent on water says 79%, and your yes. total spent on sewer says Well, no, wait a minute, that's not quite accurate. Well, that 79% actually includes some expenses from October, so you have to back those out. If you look, you'll see there's numbers. These are capital items that we spent. So, so this reporting is through September, supposedly Should, through September. We're reporting what is through September. Except for the October numbers. Okay, right. gotcha. Okay. So the 79%. Don't look it doesn't really reflect. Correct. That goes we're saying that if you just go through down September, down. then we're at that, and you combine them, we're at 77%. Actually, you're less than 77% if you take out those items in October that are there. Well, there's $597 on wastewater, and there's 15655 in water. You back those out, we're almost exactly 75%. Okay. And September, at the end of September, you would have been 75% of your year. So we're on track. I had a couple of questions. Are, when do you want questions? Because I had a couple of questions about that. Well, I, I want to make sure everybody's equal about where are we? What am I talking about? I got it. Okay. okay. We're all sort of squared away on what I mean by we're at 75% functionally of the year. We all understand how it came to that number. Okay, now a question. Can I, can I ask one question? Is it next time you guys present this, you can have the actual, like, where we're at, so we can all follow the number and we don't have to... I mean, it, it, a combined? Yeah, you, you would normally have, this is where we are. I, this I'll, I'll address this up next time. Yeah. Okay. So, so I... Right. Go ahead, Paul. No, I'm good. I had a question about line 17. I got a little confused looking at that because Which one? It, line, 17 uh, line 17 water, okay. capital expense water, principle. Yes. Um, it appears to be over budget by $12,000, but it looks like it's like an extra payment. It, it just, it's, yeah. it doesn't look like you know what you're going to pay for that. Um, now remember, this is got, now if you look at October, look at October. On that line, 
actually, capital expense principle okay. line 17 is... Yes. It's, pro it's projected at 48,000 for the exactly year. The same number. Hmm? You'll notice the number above it is almost exactly the same number. What happened is they were categorizing it previously as a principal payment for wastewater. But it didn't belong in wastewater. It belonged in water. So what was budgeted was 48000 but should have been 60000 so it's really not over budget. I think that's just what I'm trying to understand. It doesn't appear to me that that is over budget. It seems as if those payments should have been projected at what they were going to be for the year. There'd be no change in that because it's, you know... It should have been. That's, they put it in the wrong category when they put I it see. in the budget. Okay. So it goes on the sewer side? It goes on... It goes on water. You'll see it says minus 12,533 in the last column. Yep. Mm -hmm. You see the mm -hmm. minus? I see that. Okay. That's because it actually belonged. It was. Sure, it was sure. in wastewater and it didn't belong there, so it had to be shifted over. So it looks like it got overspent, but it didn't really. So you just increased the, the budget for that to 60000 for the year. We moved it to its proper category. Okay. So right. where did it come out of. It came out of capital expense. What line? Which, what line which would be the wastewater side. That's the wastewater side. So it which would be line. I'm having difficulty reading this so long. Um, it's capital expense principal. I think it's collection oh, system. Okay. So it would be line 18, 18. on the other one. I have to go back and trace it back. Four hundred and sixty-eight doesn't belong there. It belong. It, it belong. It was put in wastewater. It didn't belong there. Okay. It belonged so, in water. It was moved over. So it looks like the water side is overexpended on that. Category. Understood. And it is understood. Right. But it, it is like like two. I mean, if you only like took ten thousand out of this and you put twelve in yeah, like water, and then it, it is a little overextended. Yeah. But at least it's in the right category. I'm not saying that. I'm just making sure I'm understanding. Yeah, I think we're just trying to understand the budget. Um, so I, I had another question for you about how you're anticipating legal expenses through the end of the year and how you're compensating in the in both budgets for the unanticipated overage for that. And I know you have a lot of uh, discretion about how you spend within the line items. I understand that. Uh, the the legal expense was excessive, and I'm just wondering, no, are you expecting... Exactly what it was needed. Well, but not was budgeted. it budgeted? And it was, it was about $1,000 budget. Where is it? So, it's I, the that's not my question. I'm not arguing about whether or not you should have spent that money appropriately. It didn't, doesn't matter okay. to me. I, my question is about what is, what is what is covering that, where is it coming from, so that are the departments stuff, you know, Suffering any no. hit on this? What? How are you managing within those line items to cover all that needs to happen within the department? If you look at line 16 in water, it says miscellaneous expense twelve thousand yeah. dollars. Mm -hmm. As as an accountant, I don't like the term miscellaneous expense or income. I want to know where it is and where it came from, but it's there. Now that will buffer part of it. I mean, the town does it too. You know, they, they run into situations where, oopsie, expenses oh. exceeded, so we've got to move stuff around. Right. I'm not judging here. I'm asking a question about how you're compensating for the overage. That's all. I'm looking at the bottom line and I'm watching like a hawk all the individual and items. This, absolutely. Very good. Are, are things like uh, testing that needs to be done, is that suffering in any way? No. Are there um, issues within uh, repairs and maintenance no. that uh, are being neglected no. because of the overage there? No. Okay. So you Critical know. functions are addressed. Okay. I just see you're a little behind. Uh, schedule on preventative maintenance. I'm sure that is a matter well, of Depending on what time of year you're doing it, or 
Well, actually, we're doing a major upgrade. <laughs> we're doing a major upgrade by not needing preventative work because it's being upgraded. The pump galley is being upgraded. Is that being done? Yes. Where do those expenses show up? They're not on this report. That's no, a lot. That is a more article, and oh, it's yes. capital. It, it, it will have to be footnoted down below. Okay. So we none of those expenses are here because I saw something that looked like it might be um, the lines one, two, and three on the sheet, assuming the pump galley is on the sewer side of this report. Um, yes, it's not in the water side. So these That's expenses, um, the 13000 the sixteen five, is that part of the pump galley project? No. In one, two, three, and four? No. Oh, okay, so it's not no. showing up there. These are current operational costs. The pump galley upgrade is a warrant article. Yeah, I know. Separate items. But so, so it, it won't show up in this. Okay. It will not. It will show up as a footnote. Okay. Um, the arm of water shot. So now we go to right up here to the other. Yes. Are over? Can you just. I don't know what right Well, there's a combination. Right, right here says, yeah, where's some legal pencil? Um, part of that was the asset management uh, grant, and it wasn't budgeted into 2019 properly. So it looks like there was a huge expense there, but in fact it was not. And we had offsetting income which, of $20,000, which you don't see here. This was in the prior year. It, it was... The 20000 came at the very end, and since it elapsed between oh. calendar years, the 20000 came at the very end in this year, but you don't see that as income. Okay. But if you come over here to the real thing, you do see it. You look at yes. grant income, $20,000. It's there. See, this, this only shows expenses. Yep. It doesn't show income. And I actually had a question about this um, report too, but I don't yeah. want to jump there if people aren't ready to go yeah. to that report. Yeah. So, so that's the right pier sign. Is yes. The, mm -hmm. What's the other one? So the grant covered expenses that you hired right Pierce to do. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was forty thousand dollars. We paid out all the forty thousand okay. dollars. And from eighteen and nineteen, and then at the end of the project, they said, well, by the way, you haven't filed for your 50% rebate. I said, good, let's have it. And we did. <coughs> we got it. But it was in 2019. But it was all part of that same entire effort. So we saw expense in 2019 that really started in 2018. But you know how that goes. <laughs> I do. I think Angela, now is the time to jump. Perfect. So I'm looking at the quarters and I'm, I'm a little confused because I have the uh, budget from, I have the budget report for 2019 from the annual meeting. And I'm looking at your, it's the fourth quarter over, Vern, that got me a little bit confused. The uh, year to date for 2018 in your um, report is 281000 in income, but the, ad, the, the total income for the year was, um, what, what it, the total income for last year was 589447 So I think there's something missing in that column because when you come to the the last page of it, what, what it shows a deficit. Yeah. This no, 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 not that one. What, what's that other thing you're looking at? Oh, these are the reports that I got at the annual meeting in March. But the reports... Wait, I'm trying to figure, is it like the 535? It is the proposed budget and the... Um, yeah, the proposed budget, which has the 2018 information in it. So it had... It's... I never saw that. 
this, this was from the <coughs> annual meeting. This is not Can your report. Yet? Not right now. I, I just kind of confused about what. Yeah, this, this well, I, I can't give it any validity until I know what it is. Well, it, it, it was, I'm telling you that this is what I received at the annual meeting oh. last year. So if I can have it back. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> um, I need to read from it. You've got to give it to me. Well, the total was 287, and this is 281. But the total for the two budgets, you've got, you've got both budgets, for the water and sewer. So the, yeah. I think what's confusing about your report is that it shows an, a, a deficit of 152000 which I think you've yes. got income missing in that column at the top of page one. And so I just no. was, it was a little bit confusing, and I'm still confused because it doesn't match up with the annual report. Uh, what so. I would do is I would not use that report, I would use the 535, which is the DRA form. That gives much more detail. So was, did the water sewer department end with a deficit of 152000 I don't think that looks correct. Well, what happened, this represents some adjusting entries that we made at the end of 2018. There were some adjusting entries that we made at the beginning of 2019 when the audit is done, which will correct that. Oh, okay. There are actually some, this, some of this is inherited from 2017. It just didn't match up with the information that I got at the annual meeting, and I'm trying to make the two reports. I wouldn't rely on the annual. I, the DRA reports are the ones I go by. Are those not handed out at the annual meeting? The 535 isn't done until the audit is done. You're thinking of the 737, I think. 735. There's a budget, there's a budget report that's usually yeah. ready for the annual meetings. Right, that's the 737 primary number only report numbers. That's what I go by. It looks as if one, it looks as if it only captured one of the two departments. They're about equal. They're about 50-50 in the budget, and it looks like it's either just water or just sewer. But we don't have to continue to obsess about that. I can let that go. Well, actually, we've been refining this to break it out between administration, water, and sewer. I just didn't have time. Yes, we did, and we have a letter from Steve, what's his name? Well, whatever, Steve, saying, yes, you're absolutely right, you can do it this way. Okay. Oddly enough, only a village district can do it, selectly so can't, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But we are going to lock up money into capital. So you've actually set it up, and you've actually 
transferred funds into those capital reserve. Their capital reserve, not SIP. They're not SIP. Well, that we're going to create next year. We're going to block to money out for meeting. capital improvement. And that will have to be done at the annual meeting with a Warren article. But you could, by asking the voters, transfer money from these capital reserves into that SIP fund. If we want to keep them separate because, for instance, we can, and we will, we're going to withdraw 5100 from the wastewater capital reserve account to pay for engineering drawings for the pump galley. And because we created it out of last year's fund balance, it doesn't affect this year's cash flow or surplus, which there isn't. So, I'm just curious, I'm going to miss something. Did you say you're going to pay $51,000 for engineering? 5100 Oh, 5100 Okay. Well, we're probably going to pay 50000 for all the pumps and pipes and all that stuff, but that comes out of uh, fund balance. Or Warren article. It came from the Warren article yes. that we voted on in March. Yes. Yeah. Which you got to pay for it for something, so it comes out of fund balance. But, yeah, but it's there, and it was approved at the, at the uh, annual meeting, so it's great. Right. It was authorized, and I got to make sure people understand it was authorized, not mandated. Uh oh, that's what I Just that's so what I understand prepared. about warrant articles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other I got a question. Yeah, I just wrote this number down because maybe I'm not familiar with it, but. Other budgets we see like 17, 18, and 19. So this one we just said 19 is 9,841 dollars for legal normal, or does that exceed like if we went back to two or three years ago, would there be legal no. problems? That, so legal is something new. Can someone explain what that means? Then ten thousand dollars. Actually, ten thousand. That's ten thousand in just one budget. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious because I'm not sure what that means. Legal. Somebody suing the town. The sewer district. Some sewer district. No, that's, 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 that's what I meant. I didn't mean the town. I'm sorry. I thought I was all right. Not real, me, not me. Relax. <laughs> we, we don't have a meddling. I'm waiting for the. No, I'm sorry. Go um, We had to address some rather serious personnel issues, and we had a right to know request that required. Some rather extensive research on the part of our attorney. Okay. Well, that seems like a lot. Okay. Well, it was a lot of personal problem. Well, I don't even know the personal problems stuff. I'm just asking why there's ten thousand dollars spent for. Well, I, I can't tell you. That's, more gonna, than that. that's gonna be a continuing no. situation, you know. Nope. Okay. That's all I got. Motion to adjourn? I don't like that. Uh, I don't think you can make a motion. <laughs> uh, I represent Sophisio. Uh, I think Bob is uh, interested in helping make a motion. So, either way, is there any other, other business? Uh, make a motion to adjourn. Just a review for next week. It's Highway and CIP. Is that next week is Highway and CIP. I will be reporting to you. And I won't be here. So. Can we have a... Okay, are you doing that? Am I doing that? Mm -hmm. I don't know if doing it. I would be happy to do it. I would be happy to do it. Mm -hmm. I need to get that current. Yes. I, I, I don't know that the board... They... We shouldn't even up. We have no yeah. I feel like anything. Okay. Sorry, we're just having a sidebar Sorry. conversation. Sorry. That's okay. Um, any other business that, that anybody's had? Um, just um, could we have at that next meeting the updated schedule? Um, yes. So, okay. With, uh, with well, what those various meeting purposes. We're, we're still working out what the what that schedule is. I think because we have to confirm that. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we have. And we're going to get it down. And they're going to get it down to the one left. Yeah. Why don't you and I just just send me an email and got to work it out? No. Super. Well, I guess. I know. So, She's going to name the school board to get down to the road Of course we are. Right. All right. So the we'll have the number, we'll have the sheets before the meeting, it's like as an email or something for the highway and the city. Yeah, that's, that's not 
something that has been done? Will, will, there, be a, will there be a presentation, you know, from the, each department head as to what their budget is ahead of time to review? Or you just <coughs> they'll come and present, here's what Thank our budget you. is for our highway, or here's what our budget is for our... Um, it's always been that day, I yeah. thought, but... Um, that's a good point. It would, whoever, it's, it would be, it would be helpful thing. to have them ahead of time. I agree, eventually not the case. Mm -hmm. So if we could maybe... Like, Even in the toward, morning, or... Work or towards that, if you, maybe not this year necessarily, but I mean, it is helpful for, for the committee, I think, to yeah. be able to... Formulate to the other. You're not hearing for the first time. No, I get it. I'll see what I can do. On our side, I know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Any other uh, questions? I have a motion. Motion. Second. Okay, Charlie, a second. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>